Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. We got Pearl Jam, part two. We've done Black already by Pearl Jam. That was a good introduction. Now, you guys are getting in this comment saying we should have done the unplugged version. Now, um, that was a live version, right? I believe it's an acoustic version if I'm um, correct on that one. And what we like to do on the channel is get a feel for artists first, right? Before we jump into them and to really start to appreciate them. And so that's what we did. And we're going to get to the unplugged version of Pearl Black. Mm -hmm. Pearl Black. Pearl Jam Black. We're going to get to that unplugged version. Um, but we want to get to know them a bit more. And this was a recommendation that we do from one of our subscribers um, who made a contribution to the channel, which we're very grateful for. Yes. So thank you, Gary. We thank really so appreciate much, Gary. that. And uh, so we thought, you know, what a, what a great way to get into a little more Pearl Jam as well well mm -hmm. and so we're gonna do even flow yeah. here official right. video and um, so we've got the lead singer was you know very unique in the last one mm -hmm. um, Eddie I believe is his name yes. right and uh, yeah so Eddie had a very unique vocal and it was kind of like telling a story using his vocal really really well mm -hmm. um, very unique sound Pearl Jam had uh, but uh, kind of felt like it was around that 90s period. That, yeah, I remember I was saying we felt like we were like going through a journey. Yeah, and uh, so I think though this is from the 90s as well, right? I believe Early so, Early yes. 90s. Yes, so. Um, so, you know, it's been cool, this journey that we've been on, because we've gotten into some earlier stuff, you know, from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. So it's been nice to travel back in time yeah. and listen to these things. And so that's why a lot of this stuff is first-time listens, right? Because we were not really... Prevalent in the world. Well, yeah, no, we didn't exist. <laughs> for, for most of that time, we didn't exist. Yes. And then, you know, I'd say more into the 90s, it was just stuff that we weren't really into. Well, yeah. I mean, I was a little... Even in the baby. 90s, though, right? We're, you're not going to be old enough to appreciate it yeah. in the way that we're appreciating it now. Yeah. So uh, we really appreciate all the yeah. recommendations so we can appreciate the music and the content. And we don't just have music on the channel. If this is your first time coming here, we got comedy. Sports sports as well so uh if you like all that stuff and you like new content every day hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of stuff coming and there's a lot of stuff already up at this point as <laughs> yes well. there is there's a lot. all right enough yeah. of the chit chat you ready to get into some, into some pearl jam yeah, even flow all right let's do it it's not a tv studio josh turn these lights out yeah, Josh. It's a fucking rock concert. Josh. Ready to stand up. Ah. Freezing, rest his head on a pillow made of concrete. Okay.
drumming is crazy on this. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. The drummer's wild going in. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, his vocal, the guitars as well. This whole song is pretty sick, yeah, in my really opinion. Yeah, it's really sick. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving the energy. I'm loving the way he's like... Like, he's like coming in with his own vocal yeah, and yeah. really adding his own energy using it. And, yeah. you know, it adds a nice, like, rhythm to the song and, like, a nice yes. flow with it. So, yeah. uh, even I'm. Even flow. Huh? I said, even flow. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. And it's cool how he's emphasizing a lot of the lyrics and yeah. kind of painting a picture with those lyrics as well. Um, so, I'm really, really enjoying this one. Yeah, I do. I really like it. And, like I said, I think that the drums really stood out to me. His vocal stands out a lot to me. I mean, it's all great, but those are two key pieces that I was like, wow, this is sick. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I know a lot of people have their own favorites. I know Black is one of their favorite songs, or sort of one of the bigger songs. And like you said, the Unplugged version is better, um, you know, in terms of the emotional concept. But I think I really like how, you know, on this one, um, he's just, you know, bringing... It's a different sound. Yeah, but I think It's very different to me than the last Yeah, one. I think this one has more of that grunge sound mm -hmm. to it. Um, and so far, I, I, you know, between the two, I really, really do like this one a lot. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I've only, you know, listened to this one for three minutes and, yeah. you know, we haven't listened to the other one a whole lot. So, yeah. um, that might change over time or yeah. like maybe you see the emotion and then it changes at your perspective yeah. on things. But I think so far I do like this one just a little bit more than the other one that we yeah, listened to. Yeah, I like both of them, but I think that they're like different time, different place, different yeah. situation. Like, I feel like this is something that you could like, you know just play day sure. to day or like at a party and it's more like upbeat and like you said got that grungy like fun feeling whereas I feel like the other one is more of like an emotional kind of like more like sit down and chill kind yeah. of vibe so that's a valid that's a valid point that's a yeah. good point I mean it depends on how, how you're feeling in the moment sometimes exactly. like what you want to listen to and uh, yeah anyways you ready to get back into some more flow rhythm yes. and flow yeah some I even love it. flow <laughs> definitely feel that with, like that was more rocky as yes. well like more of a rock sound i love the use the use of their guitars as well like mm -hmm. the the, the, the way they use cool too. pardon the guitar solos in there were cool too. yeah and just the way they use the riffs and played off the guitar solos and all that kind of stuff i thought was really good energy was great it looked like they had a great time at the concert yeah. as well i was a little bit worried when we got into the video because i was like it looks like a concert but it seems like they just dubbed the song over what they were yeah, performing at a concert yeah because yeah, yeah. um, i was saying that you know 
we want to do them live later. Yeah. <laughs> and but I think this was just the audio version dubbed yeah, over top, I right? Agree. So, uh, but it looked like nonetheless they were having quite the time. Grand old time. At and he's those... like crowd surfing. And... Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so you enjoyed the song? I did. I really liked it. I know you liked the first half. You liked the second yeah. half too. Yeah, it was good. Cool, me too. Well, now you guys can hit those comments and let us know what you thought. If you enjoyed our reaction, hit that like button for us. If you haven't subscribed, you've got to get on this wagon and get rolling with us. Come on, let's go. Um, other than that, guys, we'll be back soon, as always, because we've got more content all the time. So come back tomorrow and check out what we got. Thanks for watching. See you next time.